What's going on, Average That Guy here, and today we are back because I got a lot of questions about this device right here. This is the Zugu Alpha. This is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro 2020. And a lot of people wanted to know, is this thing going to be good for artists? Now, I'm not an artist. I never claimed to be an artist, but I do draw with my kids from time to time, and I like to doodle in my free time on my iPad. So today we're going to be testing the durability of this magnet and let's see what happens. So first off, I got the executive brown right here. If you haven't checked out my review of the colors or of the actual case itself, it's going to be uh, up above to the side somewhere at the end. It's going to be somewhere so you can click on it and check it out. But this is the executive brown, buttery smooth, buttery soft. I can't say enough about it. I love it. Probably my favorite new case for my iPad. But if you notice on top, you do have these grooves. Now, if you're new to the Zugu game, welcome and this is zugu alpha but if you've been here before and you've seen my reviews you know that these are actually different standing angles that you can actually plop this magnet in and achieve any angle you want so first off this is the angle we are going to start at now it's going to be kind of hard for me to keep opening my ipad up so let's just do this one time and one time only putting in my password, unlike how Kanye did it. And there we go. Now, I've had his own, we're good to go. First standing angle. We're gonna do two tests on each standing angle. We're gonna do a press and write test, and then we're gonna do a smack test. Let's take this off. All right, here we go. All right, smack test, pass number one. You know, let's just go to each angle and do smack test, and then come back and do write test. Angle number two, smack test, pass. Angle number three, get it in there, smack test. You see where I'm going, it's gonna work on it. it like I've done this in my reviews, so I really shouldn't have to do it, but somebody's gonna ask, so here we go. Hitting it on each angle, same amount of force all the way Okay, now, since we're already down here at this angle, most people are gonna write at about this angle right here. Like anything else, it's just gonna be tough. You're, you're at an awkward position. But we'll do it, here we go. Now, um, favorite drawing out, procreate. Oh, it's not connected. Let's do this first. All right, there we go. Now we're connected. Procreate. That's just something I was doing. Get rid of all this stuff on the screen. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Now, let us begin. First off, we gotta get a good tool. Um, I'm drawing. Mm. I'll take, I'll take little pine. It's okay. All right. So I'm going to just bear down on the screen. Some of the old songs. For time's So that was that was me drawing and pressing and going doing all different kinds of things going in with my finger just I mean just everything that procreate has to offer I was able to basically just just throw all of it on the screen really quick 
and there's no issue like i'm on the lowest level and this thing is so strong it's gonna work at basically any level so hopefully that has answered the question is it great for artists in my opinion big thumbs up i also have a screen protector on here this is actually from i cares now matted screen protector is still not having a whole lot of issues every now and then i do get a little um see little bubble like right there in that corner every now and then i do get a slight bubble from this that's because of the fit but like i haven't had my screen protector lift up and come off like it literally just gets that little bubble right there you smooth it back out and there we go it does come back a little bit but like i said i don't think it's a deal breaker now if it was coming up all the way around i would say yes don't get it but i use this case every day haven't had any issues with my screen protector lifting up or coming off and i think most artists would agree that a matte screen protector is probably going to be the best way to go if you're drawing it just makes the screen feel that much more uh real and for taking notes let's see we're still going back to the lowest level or let's go a little bit up going about halfway up so let's say you are a student and you're taking notes in class and you're probably not going to take notes this high up but just using this for an example that double tap that double tap gets me all the time there we go so i'm able to do that basically anything you want to do with this you can do it's sturdy it's strong it's probably one of the like i said one of the best cases that i've owned nice and compact slim sleek what more can you ask for so as i mentioned i am no artist i'm not an artist but like I said, from time to time, I will do, I will draw, I will sketch. And I did have a lot of questions that people wanted to know about actually bearing down on the screen. Now, if you haven't seen any of my reviews, I actually talk about this in the review, but I decided to make a dedicated video just because there were still so many questions, even on my Instagram um, and even on Twitter, people had questions about the durability of that magnet. Hopefully I was able to show you guys that in real time today. Until next time, please continue to give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. And no, I do not have pink fingernail polish on. That's just the color. My fingers are like, that's just how they look. Sorry. <laughs> Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.